In this thrilling new episode, Alex, Sarah, and Michael are back. But this time, they're facing unexpected Azure Cloud security incidents. A sudden service outage, security breach, and performance issue have thrown their cloud environment into chaos. Now it's up to them to troubleshoot, respond, and resolve these incidents using Azure's best practices. Will they succeed in keeping their cloud infrastructure secure and operational? How will they mitigate threats, recover data, and prevent future incidents? Join us in Azure Cloud Adventure Part 8 as we dive deep into incident response in Azure Cloud, providing a step-by-step -step guide to handling and resolving cloud-related incidents. Step 1. Detecting the Incident Alex receives an alert from Azure Security Center about suspicious login attempts from an unknown location. Sarah, the manager, panics and asks Michael for a quick incident assessment. Solution. Monitor alerts in Azure Security Center. Navigate to Azure Security Center. Alerts and Incidents. Analyze log data in Azure Monitor. Check Activity Logs, Azure Sentinel, and Azure Defender for anomalies. Use Azure Sentinel's AI detection to identify potential threat actors. Step 2. Containment. Stopping the attack. Michael identifies that an unauthorized user has gained access to an Azure virtual machine. Sarah suggests shutting down the server, but Alex proposes a less disruptive approach to contain the threat. Solution. Disable compromised user accounts via Azure Active Directory. Apply network security groups to block malicious IP addresses. Enable just-in-time VM access to prevent unauthorized access. Step 3. Eradication. Removing the threat. After blocking the attacker, Alex checks if malware or backdoors are present in the system. Solution. Run Microsoft Defender for endpoint scan on VMs. Use Azure Security Center's threat detection to identify affected resources. Review audit logs in Azure Log Analytics for further compromise evidence. Step 4. Recovery, Restoring Services. The team works on restoring affected systems while ensuring data integrity. We'll restore data from Azure Backup for VMs, databases, and storage. And reconfigure Azure policies to prevent further misconfigurations. Don't forget to enable multi-factor authentication for all accounts. Step 5. Lessons learned and future prevention. Sarah schedules a team meeting to discuss how to prevent similar incidents in the future. We'll implement role-based access control to enforce least privilege. Perform regular security audits and Azure penetration testing. And enable Azure Sentinel's security orchestration for automated threat response. Three tricky Azure incident response questions. One, what is the first step in handling a cloud security breach? Two, how does Azure Sentinel help in detecting real-time security incidents? Three, what is the role of Azure Log Analytics in post-incident investigations? Comment your answers below. Alex, Sarah, and Michael successfully mitigated the security threats, restored services, and learned valuable lessons. This incident response strategy ensures business continuity, cloud security, and data protection. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for the next episode. Next episode teaser. The team faces a disaster recovery challenge. How will they recover lost data? Stay tuned.